Lucas Robertone looks like one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders in the entire game. He is almost holy gang for only 90,000 coins. This guy is going to be an absolute rock in your midfield. With four-star skills and four-star weak foot being five, nine, and medium high work rates, I am so excited to use this guy. And two stats that are 80 plus, and that's the shooting and the passing at 78 and 79. Great traits. Let's go! Dives into tackle, finesse shot, flare, and long shot taker four of my favorite traits in the entire game. Let's get right into the first game and see if this guy compares to Baby Root Hullet. Oh, yes. First touch of the ball, and it's already a tackle. Oh, my days, boys. Let's go. What an interception. This guy already has two interceptions. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it. No, God, please. No. Oh, my God. Finish it. Finish all the week. So oh, Finally. For 90k, you get a player that he pretty much fills every requirement you need in a midfielder. Shooting, passing, passion. He's insane. Oh my god, send him. Send Lewandowski. Oh my god, what a ball. Go, Lewandowski. Go. Van Lewandowski. La Liga player, the Liga player. No, Lewandowski finish it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, the assist was frauded, but we do end up getting the goal. You saw when I got the ball with him in the midfield. I did one step over to just buy some time and then waited for that run of the belt, threw ball all day in stride. Oh, go. <laughs> made one miss, made two miss. On the weak foot again. Oh! <laughs> this guy, this guy is something else, bro. Two goals and an assist and we're gonna get a rage quit here in game number one. Oh my days. On to the next. The YouTube Kings bet me you can't subscribe to the channel before this pack finishes opening. Hit subscribe and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. In the midfield, I think this guy is really going to be a unique player because no one has the dribbling and the strength that he has while still being small enough to sort of get in these gaps and just do step over his buy time, wait for runs to develop. Get him, get him, get him. Oh my days, look at the passion. No. Oh, let's go, big tackle, Robert Tone. It could have been killed. Oh, big tackle from behind! I didn't even press the tackle button. I just ran into the back of him. And now we go. Every counter. No way. He just tackled and made it. How am I offside? I don't know, Jeff. He just made a tackle and then immediately turned and sprinted the other direction to try and go score. That is passion. Go. Send him. Send him. What a ball. Lewandowski. There is no passion. There is no vision. Post, bro, I swear. Why can't I get him an actual assist? Oh, my near post finish. Come on. Come on. I knew it was going in. I knew it was going in before he even took the shot, bro. You get him on that right foot. His lowest his lowest stat is his shooting and his passing. And those are the two. I don't even have a problem with them. I feel like his shooting and passing is great. Why is this guy only 90K? Oh, another interception. And we send Diaz through. Oh, Diaz isn't through. Oh, back two. No. I like it. Oh my god. No way. No way. Oh my days. He just juggled around two center backs and then the keeper made a good save. They spawned two of them. Spawned two of them. No. No. We lose the ball. But bro, why? I'm getting a bit carried away with the dribbling, but when you when you play the normal circumstances with when you have an actual brain He is gonna be really good. Oh, oh my god. Yes, near post finish. Come on <laughs> That was literally this guy's shooting is mental and it's one of his lowest stats If you compare him to Rude Hullet. Oh look at this hyper motion replay. Just look at look at the hyper motion replay. Oh, oh <laughs> If you compare him to Rude Hullet He's very similar, except Rude Hullet has five star weak foot and is a bit taller. But there's a difference in about 700K of price. One's 800K, one's almost 80K. It's actually mental. Oh my God, go. Time to run to perfection. Ref! These guys are worse than the Premier League VAR refs, I swear. What? He was onside. Oh my days. Oh my god, he pressed! Look at the press! No, we lose on the pace, on the straightaway pace in the 90th minute to equalize. But when you have a man that's just bombing up the pitch, pressing like that, you're gonna win a lot more games than you would without him.
One reason this card is so cheap is because of the links you need to make him work on chemistry. Maturano is going to be one of the best cards to link him up with. He's a hero and the same nation, so it pretty much just gets him on full chem anyways. Also, Acuna is a great strong link, and so is this Correa card. I would say Correa, Maturano are, are, the be are the best strong links, and then also this informed keeper who is Argentinian. Keepers are a great way to get players that you don't really have that many other players players in your squad with links if you get a strong link to them they, they need strong links. otherwise you're gonna have to have at least five La Liga players in your team and if you're just gonna go La Liga and you're gonna go full La Liga it's gonna be pretty easy obviously Benzema, Lewandowski, Old Black, Courtois, Modric, Alaba, Vinicius, Rudiger there are so many players Freddy Valverde there are endless endless players that you can use but for chem stuff for this card I've been thinking about it a lot and, and there is there is a couple a couple things we can do. There's a couple things to do. I'm going to run through the scenarios in my head. First up, the thing that comes to mind is Architect. Architect get the physical up because he is very small and the passing is one of his lowest stats. Only reason I say we go Architect is because the shooting is good. The shooting is already good. Before I use this card, I would say probably go like Engine or Hunter or something to get his pace up and his shooting. Hawk even. But after I've used him, I... I I'm content with the pace. I'm content with the shooting. I think the passing and the physical could use a bit of an upgrade. So Architect is by far the best chem style for this card. You take a look at the in-games, the pace 84 acceleration, the, the gap between the acceleration and the sprint speed is perfect for a box-to-box -box center mid because you can get those interceptions by getting that first quick step. And then once you get the ball, you can do one skill move because he does have four-star skill moves to get away. You can do a, a ball roll, a step over, a fake shot to pass the ball, to buy space to pass the ball. That is really what you need to use this card for. And then also the shooting, 87 shot power is super, super good. The 77 finishing wasn't a problem for me. I did not miss very many, very many chances that I thought he would miss. And also the attack positioning, he felt like he was making great runs from the deep line positions. And when I played him up higher as a cam, he was making even better runs. He was in, always in a good attacking position. He would make a tackle and then just bomb up the field to try and get an assist or a goal. And then moving on the pass this is what's going to be touched by the architect the short pass and the long passing are going to go up substantially the curve is really good already on this card and the vision low crossing is not that big of an issue and he does have decent free kicks and then the dribbling this is his highest stat and obviously we do not need to touch it at all with the 97 agility 85 balance 85 ball control and 83 dribbling with him being 5'9 he is one of the best dribbling midfielders for the price while still being able to attack and defend speaking of defending 74 defense awareness is the worst thing about this card but the standing tackle and the sliding tackle are just mental 91 and 93 respectively with 83 interceptions one-on-one -on -one, this guy doesn't miss one-on-one -on -one, he has the agility to, to to stay with you he has the agility to stay with whatever attacker he's facing and he has the skill from the standing tackle and the sliding tackle to gamble make risks take risks and win the ball time and time again and also the stamina 90 stamina he has the best stats in all the good places he has good short passing good long passing good standing tackle good interceptions good acceleration good stamina those are all the things i want to see and he already has 87 aggression so the architect is just going to make him that much better and we talked about the traits the traits you can feel it if you're talking about how he compares root hullet obviously root hullet has one of the best some of the best animations in the game he's one of the best icons and he's coded to be an absolute beast but this guy rivals him when it comes to traits dives into tackle trait is an overpowered trait finesse shot trait is a must-have trait flare trait for someone that is going to be dribbling a lot and utilizing his good dribbling is essential and long shot taker is essential for someone that has really high shot power and not super great long shots it just it just all works out for literally ninety thousand coins in la in the in one of the top five leagues la liga with heroes in la liga that you can get so much chem to heroes in la liga right now i don't think are going for a lot they're not going for an insane amount i would say these guys aren't, aren't some of the best heroes in the game but they're still gonna give great great links to a card that you need in your squad if you're gonna if you're gonna succeed if you're gonna succeed on a budget this is a this is this is one of the this is gonna be one of the first big purchases you make is is a 90 rated it was a 90k 84 rated center mid that rivals hullet in performance but if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace